Hi, and welcome to another edition of Our Power. I'm Erica McClarity. We're here at Pepper's Ranch in Oklahoma. Pepper's Ranch is committed to breaking the cycle of child abuse and neglect by not only providing homes and counseling, but also activities like horse riding. Being with these horses teaches the kids things like respect, trust, work ethic, and they get to have a lot of fun. Pepper's Ranch is a one-of-a-kind community that sits on over 300 beautiful acres. There are 13 homes filled with 110 children and 13 families all dedicated to helping abused and neglected kids find a forever home. What our goal is is to really inspire kids to reach their full potential, to try things that they never have, and to help increase their self-esteem. And trying things they never have includes getting to know these sweet creatures. These horses have helped the children more than we will ever know. With such big success and breakthroughs in the children's lives, it was unfortunate that the horse riding program couldn't be year round. Our horse riding program is really limited due to the elements. Sometimes it was way too hot to ride, sometimes it was raining, sometimes it was too cold to ride, and sometimes you had snow, sleet, and other things that you were dealing with. In came the decision to add a 20,000 square foot riding center brought to life for a year-round riding program. But because Pepper's Ranch is completely self-funded, they needed help to make this dream become a reality. Business manager Dwayne Wilcox didn't think twice about having local 1141 help out. Pepper's Ranch is special because it's, it's unique in the fact that it helps children who need help and it provides families for children who need help that, were, that otherwise wouldn't get that care. The IBEW has been an amazing gift to our community. First off, there was no way that we would have been able to stay within budget for this $250,000 building if it wasn't for the volunteers, the time, the money, and the talent that was dedicated by this amazing group of people. 36 volunteers total from local 1141 helped pull this off during several shifts. There are 32 high bay LED light fixtures, eight power operated overhead doors, a concession area with outlets, two gender specific restroom facilities with lighting and exhaust fans in both of them. I put in uh, at least four Saturdays and um, uh, 40 to 50 hours and uh, and then today with as many that's here we probably wrap this thing up in about five hours I and mean, it's been done right and uh, the IBEW we do big projects and we try to do things right uh, you know as far as this work that we've done it's beautiful I think that animals and particularly horses can teach us to respect one another, to love one another, and to trust. The Peppers Ranch Equine Program is unique because the children live on site. So not only are they getting horsemanship and horseback riding lessons, they live here. So they get to see the horses when they get off the school bus. They get to participate in the care and feeding of the horses. It's really a whole experience here at Peppers Ranch. I get to see the moments, the little moments. I have lesson plans for every session that we do, and they're fantastic, but what is so amazing is the impromptu moments, and that's when I realize I'm just a facilitator. The kids and the horses are doing the real growth and real developing. It helps me escape any troubles that I'm having during the day, during the week, at, you know, just any time. I mean, it just makes me feel free. and. It like gets my mind off of just everything. I mean, all of the trauma, everything is just gone when I'm up in the riding. Heather has lived at Pepper's Ranch for three years now. Horses, they can sense everything, everything that you're feeling. And so if they, if they think you need a hug, they'll give you a hug. He's looking at me. <laughs> so we rely on people to bless our organization with time, money, or talent to come out to help to invest in our kids. And I think that's a huge healing process when it comes to our children who uh, may be hesitant to step out. They've been hurt in relationships and the last thing they wanna do is get close to someone who in the end might disappoint them. So volunteers are, are a huge part of the healing process. 
and I know that our kids wouldn't be able to heal and reach their full potential if it wasn't for the volunteers that are willing to invest in their lives. I used to volunteer a lot and then I stopped and I realized I was going through this depression and this funk and then I started volunteering again and I'm back to being me and being happy. It's important for IBW Local 1141 to give back to our community because we live there. We are a part of that community. It's important for other locals to get on board just to show that same reflection. And to uh, in giving back to their communities, they also um, they get to be the giver of the gift. It benefits kids, and you know, I've got time, so I like to put it to good use. You know, a little bit of time goes a long way for those kids. There's so many hands that go into making this possible. And when the IBEW became involved, it was, it was absolutely fantastic. This is above and beyond anything I could have imagined for the ranch. From everyone at Pepper's Ranch, we want to say thank you to the IBEW for your hard work, your dedication, and your skill to make our riding arena the perfect place for Oklahoma foster children to find hope, encouragement, and a passion to heal. Dedication and skill are elements that the Brotherhood brings to every job across North America. But sometimes, like here in Oklahoma with Local 1141, it goes way beyond that. It's work that comes with a special reward. And that's the satisfaction of knowing your efforts are making a big difference in someone else's life. Reporting for Our Power, I'm Erica McClarity.